This, weirdly enough, is Minecraft, and to a lot of people, that might not be as startling if they've seen mods like this. But to me, someone who hasn't seen mods like this, like, what is this? Glow lichen? Like, it has a whole new 3D texture, that's insane. I can build diagonally, and it'll work. Like, look at this. That's an- what? It uh, breaks my brain, what is that? What is that? Even look at the trees. Like, it's insane. Oh my god! This... I mean, look at the ruined portal. The chest doesn't look too, too realistic. How does the nether look? No way. What? Wait, they go the way that you're looking. Oh, well that one got caught on that block. So like, if I'm looking this way... That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. What I really wanted to show you was this picture of real life. Or so you think. This is Minecraft. And it looks like real life. It's, it's actually insane. I mean, like, if you look really closely, you can see pixels. But where's the fun in that? I mean, seriously, this looks like a real blue light on a wall. I mean, <laughs> let me grab like a villager down look at him that's not right so then all you have is this realistic chase with unrealistic characters it looks like cgi like look at this this looks like an image taken in real life which it is it's it's a 3d scan of a room that is probably took them hours upon hours to do it's like a horror movie look at this Oh, he's so dead. Oh, he had no chance of survival. But then you take stuff like an iron golem and it just makes it that much more fake. Look at this. Like... What are Minecraft loot drops doing on a real floor? It doesn't look real. The more you look at it, the more you can tell it's fake, just like looking at this fire extinguisher and... And the, the, and the railing, it's just broken off into pieces. But that's from the 3D skill. Oh my god, what is happening here? Just look at all of this. That's insane. You can tell what every little detail is. You can tell this is wire that going into here. You can tell that these are beams. You can tell that there's literal pipes coming off of here. How does it get that detailed? And especially not even lag your game while doing this. There's stacked chairs holes in the wall that you can walk into full-on railings with doors dynamic lighting that's not even real security cameras and so much more i just can't comprehend everything that's in this and you can see where all these lights are coming from the shadows coming from this one light it just looks so real i mean i can just climb on all of this garbage and it's just insane the amount of detail, I, I can look behind some of it and, and see the other pieces that you can't see from in front of. I mean, doorways that you can enter and look at things. I, what is this, a fridge? One thing you haven't done is look at the outside. Look at this. And there's just a, a traveling merchant llama sitting there. What I was going to say is look how intricate this is. And it's especially interesting because... It's modeled on the outside as well. You never really see that. Because I bet you if I look at this from the outside, if I go on the inside, it's modeled the exact same way here as well. Actually, I take back what I said. Uh, it's, it's modeled like this, and then you look, and it's an inverted version. So it's basically just a, a mirror, pretty much. That's really interesting. But this is just the beginning for Minecraft maps and worlds that are doing this kind of thing. Other people have already tried making mods and models that are realistic. I mean, several YouTubers have already made videos on this kind of thing where they just model an entire map, which is insane. It, you can practically make an, a realistic version of Minecraft. Of course, it still has its tweaks, like the very low poly count, but 
It's not low. This is at least, at least a hundred thousand polys just in this one map. It takes a, a buttload of time to load up, trust me. It takes a very long time to load up. Look at how many textures there are on here, that's insane. But it's so worth it in the end when you realize this is all in Minecraft and what you can do with this tool. I mean, you tell me that this looks like Minecraft. No one would believe you. I'm not normally somebody that does videos like this where I'm like showcasing these cool little mods that, you know, don't really add anything to the game, but they just make something new. But this is news to me that something like this can exist in the game, and it's just bewildering to me, and I, I feel like I want to make a video on it. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want to make a video on that? You take a picture like this, you're gonna think that that is real. Cause you're not gonna be paying attention to all these, and if it's on a phone screen or something, you're not gonna be like, Oh. This has- this has to be in Minecraft. If anything, your first reaction to anything like this would be CGI or AI. You add something like the sniffer to the- to the real life dungeon, and it doesn't look real. This is such a powerful tool for Minecraft creators because not only can they model, you know, structures that look this real, but this means that they could start doing this with mobs. And when they start doing this with mobs, all of the possibilities are endless. And I can't wait to see, you know, what these creators do in the future. Oh, oh my god, what did I just do? Wait. The hitbox is somewhere right here. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait, did you see that? I hit the, I hit the, the hitbox. <gasps> Where's it going? Where's it going? Wait, 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 wait. No! I found it! <laughs> Why is it rising? Why is it just rising? What happened? What creature is this? Like, I genuinely am trying to figure it out. I don't know what mob would, would rise constantly like this. Unless it's a projectile, that might be it. Again, this is just an amazing feature, and I don't care if I'm able to break it this easy, because this is clearly just a, a, a test to see what you can do in Minecraft. There it goes. Thanks for watching. Wait, what? Well, well, that was that was lame. Have I talked about something with you? Did you know you could become a member of this channel? Well, I don't think you do. Becoming a member of this channel actually allows you to get videos early. This video came out early, and guess what? It came out a whole day early. Some come out weeks in advance. Haven't hasn't happened yet, but guess what? If I stream, you might have members only chats. And guess what? You have priority comment replies. So that means if you ask me a question and you are a member, I'm probably gonna reply to you. Even if you're just joining live streams and someone gifts memberships for a donation, you have a chance to become a member. So I highly recommend coming and joining live streams, just for fun. Telling your friends about subscriptions is also a great way to interact with the community. And guess what? I think you should click the subscribe button down below. It might have just flashed rainbow for you. You might want to rewind and check that. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But other than that, um, you get free emojis if I didn't say that already. Um, there might be members only videos. I haven't done that yet. Uh, there's stuff like right now. I do Q&A stuff and you're able to ask a question. And I instantly ask it in this video. Give you a little shout out too. Uh, you get shout outs in live streams and videos. That's a big one. You get a whole shout out at the end of my live streams. And in some videos, you'll get a shout out in the comments or even in the video like I'm about to do. Thank you, Vivid Dermatic, for becoming the highest tier member. I really appreciate it. All of your guys' support means a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Ciao.